There is no doubt those states that are not vaccinating well could very well lag the remainder of the country in recovering from this situation. As life has returned to normal, many people telling us the urgency to get a vaccine has faded, but health experts say it's especially critical when dealing with these variants. The U.S. crossing positive new COVID milestones. More states reporting zero deaths from COVID. Maryland with zero COVID deaths for two days in a row. And case numbers are down, the lowest daily average since March 2020. About 11,400 cases nearing Dr. Fauci's benchmark, averaging less than 10,000 new cases a day. But the good news comes as concerns grow around the highly contagious Delta variant, likely already fueling pockets of outbreaks in states with low vaccination rates like Alabama, Arkansas, Oklahoma, and Missouri. Vaccinations across the country stalling, putting President Biden's vaccine goal of 70% of adults at least partially vaccinated by July 4th in jeopardy. In Colorado, the health department now making calls to adults who aren't vaccinated. Meanwhile, new CDC data showing who is and isn't getting the vaccine. 80% of those over 65 had gotten at least one dose. However, only 38% of people ages 18 to 29 had gotten the vaccine. Experts say fewer vaccinations among younger people puts that age group particularly at risk. We know that you know masking can start to go away if you're vaccinated and you can start to gather. But unfortunately, those that are unvaccinated are following some of those same behaviors. And because of that, we will have unmitigated spread of the Delta variant in those populations. The biggest stars in college sports reacting after a blowout win for student athletes. The Supreme Court ruling unanimously against the NCAA and in favor of allowing compensation for collegiate athletes. Justice Brett Kavanaugh writing, the NCAA's business model would be flatly illegal in almost any other industry in America. The NCAA is not above the law. This is really important to all student athletes um, just because it hasn't, you know, no legislation has done this for us um, ever. The court ruling supports increased educational payments for athletes while also barring restrictions on compensation put in place by the NCAA. Those expanded educational payments or benefits include postgraduate scholarships, paid internships, study abroad, computers, and musical instruments. The court stopped short of allowing outright payment of salaries to players, but in a statement, the NCAA said it remains free to articulate what are and are not truly educational benefits. Experts say it could be only a matter of time before restrictions on salaries and other forms of compensation are also struck down. Oregon basketball player Sedona Prince is part of a separate lawsuit fighting for student athletes to be allowed to use their name and likeness for endorsement deals. She says there's more that needs to be done. The Supreme Court decision was amazing. It was a huge step, but it, um, it wasn't enough.